Hey there, Shawna here with Homegrown Self Reliance. So, today is the Self Reliance Skill of the Week, where I learn a new skill every week for the whole year of 2021. So, I hope you'll follow along. And here is our project for this week. So, what we're going to be doing is making lye out of hardwood ashes. So I've got a bucket here, um, and we put a nail in it, right there, but the nail is nice and tight, so we're going to be able to hold the water in here for a while. We've got rocks in the bottom, and now we're going to put some sand, and this is going to act as a filter. So the filter is just going to keep the, the larger chunks out of the lye water. And then next we need hardwood ashes. Alright, so normally I have a bunch of ashes, but we actually burn pine usually in our wood stove because that's what we have readily available around here. But to make lye, you actually need hardwood ashes. So, took some Russian olive that we had cut down, and I burned it here in my, my burn pit, specifically for this project. So have some more this bucket. Lots of dust. But we want the bucket almost full. Just a little more here. Trying not to get the dirt. And we don't need a leaf in there. And we can add some water to it. We should actually use soft water. So rainwater is really good. Well water is okay too. So we've got well water, so that's what I'm gonna put in it. And then we're gonna set this bucket that's been filled with water into another bucket. And you'll see why coming up next. All right, so the water has been soaking the ashes for about 24 hours or so. And we put the bucket up on some two by fours, pulled out the nail so it can drain into this bucket underneath. It's gonna take a little while, so I'll check back in a bit. Well, this draining process is taking a lot longer than I had expected, so I'm going to improvise a little bit. So I've got a plastic strainer here. I put it on top of the bucket with a towel to help hold the, the solids. Using a plastic cup. And 
notice I'm wearing gloves. Light can actually burn you because it's so alkaline. So we're just going to keep doing that until I have enough of the water out. Back soon. And now to check our lie, we need an egg. So the way our ancestors used to do it is to check the concentration of the lie, you float an egg in it. So. And that's not floating. So we're gonna have to process it a little more. What we're going to have to do is boil it down to where we can pull out some of the water and make the lye more concentrated. So we're going to do that next. Alright, so I have boiled this down for, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half or so. And it's about half of what I actually put in there. So it should be twice as concentrated. So we need to test it again. Of course, we need a lot more than that. Okay, so we're going to do the egg test again. It is not exactly floating. It was almost there, but not quite. I guess I'm going to have to boil it some more. So we'll be back again. Okay, guys, I'm back. I think I might have failed on this little project. Um, if you've ever made lye from wood ashes, please let me know. So I set it on to boil again for a while. I have very little liquid left. Part of it was crystallizing even. I saw in another YouTube video, I can't remember which one it was, but he actually turned all of his into crystallized or into crystals and stored it that way. Um, this looks awfully dark. I'm not sure if it's just all the sludge from the ash, or if I burnt it. Um, I don't know, I'm a little curious how this is going to turn out. Um, since I've got such little amount, I can't do the egg float test anymore, obviously. But I'm going to assume it's <laughs> about as concentrated as it can get. So, I don't know. I'm a little disappointed. So it's going to be a big project for me, and maybe I screwed it up. Tell me what you think, please, if you have any experience with it. And I guess since I have such a small amount, I'm just going to store it in a, in a glass jar. Uh, it won't react to glass, so that might be the safest way to store it. Um, anyways, like I said, please, if you have any experience with making lye from wood ash, let me know. Did I screw this up? Please tell me. So, that's it for this week. I will see you guys next week, same time, same place.